Hi there, and welcome to a third follow-up video from our Shark Week presentation. Here we'll go into uh, some more advanced feature of uh, Blackbird. We'll uh, start off where we left. Minor edit that I made uh, to the template here was uh, making a distinction between the long and short port resistance levels. So here now I've put in the high of uh, the price having cleared support and resistance in order to um, evaluate setups so that we can use this as an example here. Um, by using the close, this uh, level was blocked, sitting right on top of the pre-high. So I just uh, wanted to show you that you have some flexibility as to how you can evaluate the support resistance levels with the price input. So I've put uh, high here for long trades and short for uh, low for short trades, and then I've connected them here uh, via a OR node into the uh, AND requirement so uh, that we can use this as an example here. And uh, what I wanted to talk about uh, in this video was uh, how to get a little bit more out of uh, this particular trade, moving out the profit target if we see a strong trend as we do here. These lime green bars here are showing bullish acceleration in the zero lag oscillator. And uh, that is something that we can use to communicate to Blackbird uh, that this uh, profit target can be uh, moved out. Conversely, if we see a deceleration, uh, these uh, dark green bars in a uptrend will show us that, that the uptrend is uh, losing some momentum and therefore we can use that to perhaps move in the stop loss managing the trade a little bit more aggressively with respect to the stop what we can do here is to uh, first add the uh, a trailing stop uh, there is a trailing stop available uh, with the swing trend and uh, for the ATR calculation, I think we will stick with the 50 bar look back. And then uh, we can have also the 1.5 uh, as a uh, deviation multiplier. I uh, will just use uh, that as a benchmark and ignore the swing strength parameter for this. Then we'll turn off uh, all these other plots for the swing trend indicator and simply use the stop line here. And uh, then we can see how that plays out. Turn off the paint bars as well. We have the zero lag oscillator paint bars here. And so um, if we use this, uh, we can uh, manage the stop loss and the move the profit targets out based on the color information contained in the zero lag oscillator. All right, so uh, let's have a look at uh, how to do that in a blood down first. Uh, we'll create a new template for this and uh, we will call this and, uh, acceleration. And we will work here with the indicator threshold. There is a trend state contained in the zero lag oscillator. So I'll show you how to locate that first because that is uh, where the information on the coloring of the zero lag oscillator paint bars is contained. So it's towards the bottom here, trend state, activate that. And then I will quickly go through the different uh, coloring of uh, the bars Move this a little bit to the side here so we have a better overview side by side. So the uh, lime green bars here, they have the number value four. The uh, dis, uh, deceleration bars have the number uh, three, that's the dark green bars. The short-term oversold have the number two and these black bars, the absence of buyers uh, is a number value one. And so if we're looking to identify the 
trend state for the lime green bars, the acceleration, then we'll have to identify output for that here, greater than four. And so we can mark this uh, trend state four. And if we hook this up now, uh, we should uh, only see the lime green bars activated, indicating that we're in a strong uptrend and that it's uh, safe for us in this scenario here to move the profit target out. If we do the same thing for a bearish scenario, we can simply copy this put in a minus four for bearish acceleration. This, however, needs to be turned around because you have to always start with the highest value. So you go in uh, the opposite order all the way down to minus four. And we're looking for the short output. And if we connect this now and scroll back a little bit we should be able to see bright red coloring. We see this already here. So we see all of these bars are identified. And we have that in trend acceleration. We can uh, connect these now with a OR node, like so. Save, and then we can uh, copy this and do the same for deceleration. Using that for managing this, the stop. Again, go back in here and copy these. Exchange the number values to three. Minus three. Add those to the trend deceleration logic. And now, as you see, we have the dark red deceleration indicated here, as well as the dark green for the long output. All right, so uh, let's uh, save this again. And go into Blackbird, load the new version of the trend sweet spot tutorial. We see these have been added here now. Hit OK. And then uh, we can uh, go into, let's see, I don't think we had a trailing action here for the first lot. And so we can uh, then perhaps add this trailing rule on Let's say we have a profit of uh, one ATR and we see a deceleration in the trend. Uh, then we can uh, shift that to a trailing stop. We need to add here in advanced and then we can add here the bloodhound signal that we just created. Trend deceleration. Uh, we will want this in sequence. First, the one ATR in profit, then seeing a deceleration, uh, then we could move to a trailing stop. So we'll move here to a indicator value. We can locate, um, so if I move this up a little bit, it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. So we move this to the indicator value 
swing trend. Trailing stop here. Modify the values that we're using. Again, a 50 bar look back. The multiplier was set to 1.5 and we're not using the uh, swing strength. And by setting it up like so, we'll have the same as we do on the chart. So ATR, one um, deceleration in the zero lag oscillator. And then we move to a trailing stop and we can set this to repeat indefinitely. And um, then we can do the same here for the second lot. So we put this to one. And then we add in advanced here the Bloodhound signal. Locate the template. Deceleration. And one important thing here, I think I forgot in the other, in the first lot, is that we're actually seeing signals in the same direction here, if you recall correctly. And if you see here, uh, they're long signals. So we need to change that uh, in the first slot here coming up. So we're moving this to the indicator value, swing trend. These values have been recorded. And so we're good to go with that repeat indefinitely. Now, if this uh, really makes sense to set this up like this, uh, it's another question. It's the, this is an example that I'm showing you how to how to do this. The main takeaway here is uh, the trend acceleration and deceleration. So this is. Let's see. I wanted to find here the the blood on signal signal in direction. So the main takeaway here is uh, to utilize the information contained in the uh, paint bars. And so uh, now we can do something for the profit target as well. If we have, let's say, a trading rule, we have um, a profit of, um, let's say, ATR. 2.5, so we're coming in on the on the second of a target, and we see a trend acceleration. Then we can use, the, use utilize the template that we created to detect that here to move the profit target out. Again, you do that by defining the entry price here the ATR. So this is just a set profit target from, from profit target. So the original second profit target was three, so we can move this out to six and uh, do that action only, only one time. The main takeaway here is uh, to show you how you can adjust profit targets and stop loss levels by using the trend state information contained in the zero lag oscillator. Uh, you can of course also uh, set the opening range extension bands, uh, the pre-session or the overnight extension bands as profit targets. Uh, there's another tutorial on that available. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, I can send that along as well. Save and close on this. And then uh, we'll have a review as to whether this uh, is doing what we expect it to do. So at least uh, this profit target here should be moved out to six times uh, the ATR of the 50 bar look back period. So let's see if we uh, achieve that by doing this uh, bullish acceleration template in Bloodhound. 
communicating that to Blackbird when it's uh, coming in on the initial profit targets that we set. You'll recall it was set at uh, 1.5 for the first and uh, 3 for the second. And then uh, we added also this uh, trailing stop rule here uh, with the ATR. And for some reason, this uh, has not been caught here. We made a little mistake in here somewhere. Let's have another look. So this is set now to all simultaneously, <clears throat> and uh, that will be the reason uh, we need to put this in sequence. So sometimes making a mistake uh, puts, in, puts us in a position to explain something. So all simultaneously, it's just looking at one or the other. But uh, if we say, well, we want first the check whether we've uh, come up to a 2.5 ATR profit target, and then um, if that is the case, we are open to take taking uh, input from the trend acceleration logic here. And uh, so we'll just save this again here and that will take care of this. I put a little bit uh, less data on this, uh, make it a little bit faster for us to review. It looks like this is still the profit target uh, ATR three. Yeah, and again, uh, we uh, forgot to change this. It needs to be in the same direction, just like we did for the uh, stop losses. So another reminder for us to go and check all the different options that are available to us. If you tell the system to look for signals in the opposite direction, of course, they will not be reviewing the signals in the same direction. And so here we see that we have achieved what we were looking for. We have trend acceleration when we're coming up on this uh, second profit target. So the profit target is uh, moved out. And then let's uh, have a look and see if we have some trailing stop implemented here. Here we see a stop loss on the first contract, but the second one is uh, coming in here. And so let's have a look if we can edit this as well, because they were supposed to come in at the same level here. So we had here all simultaneously again, it needs to be in sequence, easy to overlook when you're during this uh, on the fly. And by going over it a couple of times, I hope uh, <laughs> you will be able to pick up on uh, on these uh, little nuances and uh, hopefully I'll learn from my mistakes here. And now you see that these uh, stop levels have been aligned and uh, the trailing stop uh, has been activated based on a um, one ATR profit benchmark. All right, so uh, that will conclude the uh, final tutorial. I hope it's uh, been of value to you. If you have uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out via our contact form at lizardindicators.com. I'd be happy to hear from you. Until then, take care and bye-bye.